Hello, this is Lucas Palmeira from Imaginando and I'm here to give you a tutorial on the TKFX app. The TKFX app is an app for mobile devices that allows the remote control of the tractor software by native instruments. So first, to check if we have the connection working properly, we are going to press this button here, check the connection like we did on the last tutorial, and as we can see, we have a wired connection through USB selected. We can now confirm through moving this feather that we have control of tractor. Today we're going to talk about the DEX module of the TKFX app, which allows full control of the DEX in tractor and also of the mixer. So right now we're looking at deck A of tractor and we can choose which deck we're working on by pressing these two buttons here. As we can see here, we have a B button that we can press and we go to deck B. We can also press the button on the upper left corner which changes the mode into single or multi-mode. So if we press the button, we have two decks at the same time on the screen. But we can also go to menu and in settings, we can choose here on the decks if we want to see two decks at the same time or four decks at the same time. like this. I'm going to change it back to two decks since it's easier for us to see everything. I'm going back to single mode and now I'm going to load a song by pressing the button browser here. It opens also the browser in tractor and you can swipe up and down so you can choose the track that you're going to play and now I'm gonna press play and the song will start. If I press the Q button it will go back to the Q which was on the beginning and if I press Q play it will start playing from the Q point like this the same as in the tractor application. So now I'm going to show you how to use the key points. Here we have a, a se this section right here shows the full length of the song so we can scan it by moving or pressing any point here we can go to any part of the song really fast. But if we want to do just skim through the song, we can press the jog and it opens this jog dial which has two modes by pressing in the middle here, vinyl or CD. When the song is stopped we can use it to scan the song, for example here and I'm gonna mark a cue point here on this point getting out of the jog mode and now we have here the cue points we can see that the first one is already selected and it is on the beginning because it's blue that's why it is selected but now on this position I'm gonna put the second cue point and for that I only have need to press the button 2 and we have a cue point number 2 on the place that we have the cursor if we want to delete a cue point at any time, what we have to do is press shift and then press the button that of the cue point we want to delete, like this. So now we're gonna I'm gonna put play on the song again. And another function of the jog dial is while the music is playing, we can use the CD mode to nudge the tempo forward or backwards. This allows mixing 
and bit matching better or if we press the middle and we change it to vinyl mode the jog dial behaves like a vinyl so if I press any part of this here it will stop like it would be on a record and we can scratch the song backwards or forwards at any time we can change the resolution of this jog dial by pressing the shift button and we have a fader that controls the jog resolution getting out of the jog putting play on the song and now here we have the volume slider this controls the volume for the track and on just right below it we have a monitor button which allows pre-listening of the track on a different channel as configured on track now I'm gonna go to the second deck and choose another song can be this one for example I'm gonna put it on a place where I can put a cue point and I'm gonna mark here cue point two going back to the first song play it and as we can see this song is on master mode so it means it's the master of the tempo right now which is in 90 bpm but if we go to the second, to the B deck, sorry, and we choose sync now, it will sync with the first deck. As we can see, the tempo was changed to match the tempo on the first song. So I'm gonna lower the volume, and if I press play, it should play on the same tempo as deck A. One, two, three, four. So I'm gonna raise the volume of deck B so you can check that the tempo is on the same tempo as deck A. I'm gonna lower deck A now. And as you could verify, it's on the same tempo as the first song. Right now, I'm gonna go back to B and I'm gonna make this B the master tempo song so I can change the tempo which is here this is the tempo slider I'm gonna bring it back to zero as you can see the pitch is going down here allows the control of the tempo of the deck this button here and here over and below the tempo slider are the nudge buttons so you can just speed up a little bit the song or slow it to beat match easier and if you press shift you can do the buttons of nudge change to increment and decrement and you can increase or decrease the tempo value by small amounts as you can see just a little bit three four five you can increase it in 0 0.01 values now I'm gonna talk a little bit about the mixer as you can see here on these sections we have the low frequencies the medium and the highs so if I raise this we have lows medium and high frequencies and lastly here we have the filter at any time if you double tap any of these sections it will go to the nominal value next i'm gonna show you how to use the loop buttons 
this section is for the loop buttons and you can choose a loop by two ways either by pressing at any time one of the, um, the the numbers that correspond to the amount of beats that the loop will head or you can create your custom loop by pressing in and out button so if I press play and I want for example a four bar uh, uh, sorry a four beat loop I press the four button here and we have a four beat loop if I want to drop the loop I just have to press again either the four button or the out button and it goes out of the loop another way to create the loop like I said is to press in and out so in out and we have another loop press out again to leave the loop another important thing that I should talk about is the functions of the shift button if we press shift we can see that some of the labels change allowing us um, a new set of functions so to each of the equalizers bands we can if we tap on top of them we can automatically clear uh, kill any of those frequencies and in the case of the filter we can turn it on or turn it off on the left side where there was the volume slider now we can control the gain and below the gain we have also a kill function that if we press it automatically kills the volume of that deck and if we press it again it will go back to the volume that it was last but not least I'm gonna talk about the crossfader section which is right on the bottom of the screen here in which on each side you can select which channels one or multi channels which are assigned for each side of the crossfader you can move the crossfader to each one of the sides but also you have these buttons here that allow if you press it it goes automatically to one side but if you release the button it goes back to the middle if you want it to go to the side and stay there like a cut and paste function you have to press the shift key and as you can see the icons on the buttons change and if I press it it goes to the side and it stays there I hope you have enjoyed this tutorial and I see you on the next one